welcome back everyone to another unreal engine 4 tutorial and by the end of today's video our vehicle will have we will be able to attach a trailer to our vehicle uh, now one thing that i did was i made a little bit of fun with this whole thing and i could have roughly around 10 trailers connected to my vehicle and uh yeah let's go ahead and let's let's get started with this So the first thing that I want to create is the actual trailer itself. So for that, it's very similar to a regular vehicle because like the trailer itself essentially is a regular vehicle other than the fact we cannot steer it and it has no engine. So let's go ahead and let's create ourselves a new blueprint class and let's look for the AVS vehicle. And from here, I'm going to call this trailer, trailer one. Let's go ahead. Let's open this guy up. And uh, what I'm actually going to be using is the default mesh that comes with the plugin itself so that I don't have to recreate the trailer for myself. And to access that, we need to go to the plugins, uh, plugin folder and to make it a little bit easier, all I'm going to do is add a vehicle wheel component, which we still are going to need. Scroll down a little bit and select its physics material and click on this magnifying glass. Instantly br brings me to the vehicle system plugins content. So let's go ahead and let's look through this. We need a mesh and we need the base trailer. So we have this guy, looks good enough for me. Uh, this guy will have, it looks like four wheels. That works for me, that's all good. So let's remove that from the map, go back to the trailer. And now since we are in this folder, we can then select the base mesh and search for the base trailer. There we go. So we have the base trailer already available to us. Uh, now let me select the my wheel. So I'm going to use my uh, cylinder, basic car cylinder. So I'm going to use the same wheels. Obviously, you can use any wheels you like. And I'm just going to align this with the side of the trailer like so. And then let's align this to be matching up with this somewhat at least Then duplicate that wheel and have another one over here. Then I'm going to duplicate both of these and move both of these to the other side. So like I mentioned previously, uh, when we created the regular vehicle, by doing this exact same clicking and moving thingy, uh, two of your wheels probably will be the other way around. Well, at least there's quite a big chance it will. Uh, don't worry, just rotate these the other way around. For the trailer itself, since it has no torque input and anything like that, it really doesn't matter which rotation you use, as long as the collisions are facing the correct way. Well, basically, as long as the wheel can rotate like this in any of the directions, and it's going to be just fine. Now, one adjustment that I want to make for the wheels is set up that they have a higher traction. Since off screen, I changed my vehicle's traction to my tire super traction. Uh, that's going to help with the control a little bit. Um, I'm not going to set up any skid marks for the trailer at all. Uh, that's going to be just fine. If you want, obviously you can do that. So we have the trailer all ready to go. Now we need to actually create the code to uh, combine this with our vehicle, which is actually way more easier than you might think. So if you looked at the vehicle, we, we, oh my God. If you looked at the vehicle component, components, you already noticed that there is a vehicle hitch. Now, one thing that they recommend is that the X axis is facing forward again. When you add this component, the X axis should be facing forward and also place this where is the actual connection point. So for this trailer, it's right here. It's already aligned. The model is a, a the pivot point of the model is already in the correct position. If it's not for you, if you have a custom model, make sure you align this with the connection point. Then once we have done that, we need one more thing, which is going to help us detect uh, uh, the, the connection when it's possible and with what it's possible. So for that, just add collision. Uh, I don't know if it necessarily has to be a sphere collision, but I think sphere collision will work the best. So add a sphere collision like so, and then we need to do pretty much the same thing on our vehicle. We're going to need some more configurations, but for now, let's leave it be just a default hitch and just a sphere collision. Now let's go to our vehicle 
So there we go, car test one. And let's go ahead and let's add a hitch to this guy as well. So I'm going to move this to the rear end, somewhere roughly around here. And then, uh, let's see, is it too low? Let me just actually bring it up a little bit. Um, and then we need the sphere collision, which for some reason jumps to over there. So make sure you change locations to zero, zero, so that it would follow the hitch itself. There we go. So we have this set up. But uh, the thing is that now we are going to need to make sure that this collision box overlaps the other one. So it's going to be a little kind of bit difficult sometimes to attach the trailers. We need to get it quite precise. So feel free to make this guy a little bit bigger. Don't do the same for the trailer. I would suggest leaving the trailer as it is. But for this one, I'm going to make this like 75. So we have a way bigger uh, radius in which the connection will happen. Obviously, don't make it too huge. Otherwise, the trailer is going to jump from the other side of the map directly to your vehicle and it's going to just look silly. So we have this bit set up. Now, the next thing that we need to do is actually tell which part of the hitch is the... So if you've ever seen a hitch like this trailer connection thingy uh, in real life, you know that one of them has like a ball at the top of it that's on the actual car itself. And then on the trailer, you have like this hat which wraps around that ball. So we need to tell which is which. So for that, select your vehicle hitch first and make sure that its type when the in the hitch config, the type is the tow hitch. And that is the ball. Now in the trailer, you need to again select the hitch, but this time you need to select that it is a trailer hitch instead. Uh, now the connection type for now, just make sure that they both are the same. Uh, you can type technically whatever you want in there, but I'm going to explain exactly what that is in a second. So first, let's make sure we actually have the code down that we can connect these two since this is the the mother connection and this is the father connection. Everything will be just fine. But what we do need is to set up some controls for that. So I'm going to have a keyboard one key for this. And then let's bring in our hitch. And from this uh, is hitch uh, get is hitched. And this is going to tell us whether we have something connected or not. From that, let's do an if, because obviously if we already have one trailer attached, we can't really attach another one. And then if that is true, then let's grab another vehicle hitch. And from that, we can then hitch, or, uh, hitch to overlapped. And so if this is false, then we can hitch. And if it's true, that means we already have something connected, then we can unhitch. So two nodes like this, we have the unhitch and we have hitch to overlap. So now whenever the sphere collisions overlap one another, it's going to allow us to connect it with keyboard key one, obviously, if we already don't have something connected. Now the animation length, this is the time that it takes for the trailer to connect to your vehicle and you're going to see what I'm talking about in a second. So first, let's bring a trailer in, make sure it's put it a little bit higher. There we go. Let's drive up to this guy. Switch to reverse. Let's try to align. Oop, wrong. There we go. Hit one. And you can see that's the animation and it took one second for it to be connected. And we have a trailer available to us. Amazing, and we can drive around and it's going to follow us. Now, one thing though, I've set my vehicle to be like pretty fast. Uh, the physics are going to affect your vehicle as well. So if you go like really side, as you can see, the trailer pulled uh, me, uh, made me do a flip. So uh, be careful with that one. Obviously, if you want your trailer to be more stable, then again, just like for the regular vehicle, add the... Uh, center of mass, vehicle center of mass, and select where your center of mass is. So it's going to be roughly around here, I guess. Now let's leave it at zero. Yeah, there we go. Maybe even lower. And now, technically, at this point, it should be way more stable. 
So now the trailer is going to be way more stable, but still if we, as you can see, it is way more stable and it doesn't want to jump around as much, but still if it's going to collide with our vehicle, still the Unreal Engine physics are going to take over and it's still going to try to flip around. So be careful with that one. Uh, but there are, yeah, you just simply have to experiment with this, maybe set up a longer hitch so that the vehicle itself does not collide with the trailer as quick because I, my vehicle really doesn't have any actual connection. So it's actually quite close to my vehicle. So, um, we have this ready to go so we can connect the trailer, pull it and all that good stuff. And Actually, right off the bat, uh, this is already replicated and it is going to work just fine in the multiplayer version. I tested that and everything seems to be just fine. Now, one last thing that I want to talk about real quick is the connection types. Now, if you already looked at it, then you know that by default it says standard. Now, technically you can write in there anything you want. So I removed my trailer from the world and I'm going to create a duplicate. So I'm going to have two trailers. So I have the trailer one and I have the trailer two. Now let's open up both of them. So we have one and two, select the hitches for both of them. And now let's say we name this connection type to be alpha, compile and save that. Let's select the other one and let's call this beta. Uh, hopefully the settings did change because it might be that I will have to redrag these into the world, but let's see. So now on our vehicle so we have the alpha and we have the beta now on our vehicle let's say we call this beta now that means that we are only going to be able to pull the beta vehicle and we are not going to be able to pull the alpha because the connection types do not match up we have a different hitch and it's not gonna work there we go so we can connect this one so we have this trailer all ready to go so let's just send it away See ya. Let's go ahead and let's connect this guy up. Whoa, a little bit too much. And now you will see that we can't connect this one. It just simply won't do that. That is because we don't have the correct connection type. But luckily we can add many of these. So if we would add also the alpha, now we can connect both of our trailers without any issues. This would probably be used more so for like the heavy truck trailers or whatever, or I don't know, there's probably multiple ways how you could use this. By default, if you leave it, it at standard, then you will be able to connect anything. But if you change this, then well, obviously you need to have, your vehicle needs to accept the trailers types. Now, real quick, before we end this video, since this was quite quick and simple, I would think, uh, let's go ahead and let's do some more adjustments. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I can look around uh, so that I can see more using my mouse, just like I would in GTA or whatever. So let's go ahead and let's go to the project settings real quick, add the input axis mappings. So we need two of those. We need the mouse turn, which is the mouse X. Uh, hopefully and then we need the mouse look up which then in that situation should be the mouse y and then for that we need the scale to be minus one uh, i think um i always mess these up the other way around so let's go now to our master vehicle so that we would set up these controls in all of our vehicles and let's go ahead and let's run our mouse turn axis event and the, also the mouse look up event. There we go. And now for this add controller jaw, I think. Uh, and the other one was add controller pitch. And once we have added those, this is just the same thing as the by default they have for the third person template, I think. Uh, go ahead and open up your vehicle. Make sure you select the spring arm and enable, actually already did, enable the use bone control rotation. This has to be true in order for these action mappings and everything to work properly. So now if you hit play, you will be able to look around. There we go. So we have that set up and now we have a huge line of vehicles just waiting for us. And actually our trailers. And you know what? 
I want to hook all of them up together in a one huge train. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's have a blast with this. And for that, let's go ahead and open up our trailer and let's make sure we go ahead and duplicate our hitch. So select both of those, control W, there we go. And let's move the second hitch to the, to the rear end of our vehicle. There we go. So the positioning is roughly the same. Just maybe move it in a little bit more. And what I want to do on this guy is I want to uh, scale up the sphere because I'm not going to be using any controls for this. As long as I just drive up to it, it should function. Um, so we're going to scale this up to like 80. Obviously, if you want to have like some advanced controls that, for this, then you need to pass along the reference higher and higher in the hierarchy. Uh, two of these. Okay. Uh, I, I had three of these. I only need two of these. So yeah, if you want to pass that along, then you obviously you can. Whenever you overlap something, you can then pass references and all kinds of methods. I'm just going to have a brute force thingy like this overlap event. As soon as I overlap, boom, it's going to attach itself. So uh, the first thing that we need to make sure of is that this hitch, then in this situation, is this one would be the ball one. So we need to change this to the toe hitch. And just to be safe, I think this all will be the alpha ones. But just to be safe, since we made those adjustments let's make sure that we call this beta uh, give this a beta connection as well now for the sphere let's scroll down and on begin overlap let's go ahead and let's bring in our hitch first and let's check if get is hitched to see if we already maybe have something connected because if we do uh, we don't really want to connect anything else otherwise that might glitch out the whole thing the physics will take over and give us a huge physics explosion so then if it's false then we can just simply hitch to overlap so whatever is going to be overlapping we are going to try to hitch to that so now let's go ahead and let's give this a try so if we go up to this so we have one of the trailers connected let's go ahead so i made uh, the capsule a little bit bigger so now technically it should be way easier to connect multiple trailers so you can see i have four of those already connected to my vehicle the vehicle though finds it a little bit more difficult to break and to start up obviously because there's a lot more weight to be pulled but as you can see in the other two screens right here that part is replicated and the trailers are connected i can't really stop here we go so that bit does seem to be fully replicated and fully functioning again right off the bat so like i like i have praised this plugin so many times before this thing is really really amazing and yeah it's gonna be paid product in a couple of days so if you if, if you are considering about getting this, trust me, stop considering. Just go ahead and buy it because like the things you can do with it is just amazing. So that's going to be it for today's video. So we have a bunch of trailers and yeah, be careful with them because they are very bumpy jumpy uh, when they collide with each other. That's then things go especially wrong. And if you go like really fast and start making some weird moves like I'm about to you will see me glitch out the matrix uh, no not yet not yet there we go there we go there we go this time I at least stayed on the map but uh, the physics of Unreal Engine are gonna do some miracles like this so yeah thank you for watching if you found this useful make sure to subscribe and I see you in the next one